Hey guys, it's Johnny Tech Review. Today I have a review for you of your Smart Tour GPS navigation rear view mirror. So that's a mouthful for the name of this product, but basically what this is is a smart mirror that runs Android, and uh, it's actually running Android uh, 4.4 KitKat. And then on that you have navigation, you have uh, a built-in uh, dash cam that's up front here, and then you also have a rear a backup camera, and that's all included in this package. So this is the mirror here, as you can see. And now this big mirror, you have this screen here that's in the middle. You can kind of see where all my fingerprint is. And I, I believe this screen is 4.3 inches if I remember correctly. And here you have a little button. This is the button to put it into standby. You can also tap the screen to turn it on. Currently I have the device off. And then uh, you also have here some uh, light sensor. And then uh, there is also a microphone built in here. So in the package you have a long cable that run uh, from this uh, guy here all the way down to the fuse box. And what I did is I run it up top here all the way down to here and right here you can kind of see a little bit of opening and run it in here down to here and all the way down to the bottom and uh, into the fuse box at the bottom location there and in that fuse box uh, there's four cable that you have to install a ground cable a power cable an AC cable and then also a cable that run all the way to the back to get you the uh, back uh, up camera so with the power source you want to tap it into the all way on source and that uh, is something like this light here and it's all way on and then you have the accessory the ACC uh, on your car here and then that's what you want to tap into that for the second. So when you turn this into ACC, it will actually send a signal to power this guy on. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that right now. So if I rotate it to the ACC, you can see the screen come on just like that. So basically this unit is always in standby mode. And when it's in standby mode, um, it basically go to sleep. And on this home screen, if you don't do anything for a few seconds, it will go off and go to standby mode. You have here navigation, which is the viewing navigation. You have recorder, we can pick it real quick. And you can see right here, it's already started recording for 20, 30 seconds. Down here you have a small GPS position and also the kilometer uh, per hour. This is the speed. But of course, this is only in kilometer. I cannot change this into imperial unit, so it's stuck in kilometer. So if we uh, go home, just take this back to the screen here and here you can see some of the other information navigation you can launch this and uh, this actually launched the uh, navigation software uh, it's called Syndic and this one here allow you to download the map offline so you can use that offline if you have a uh, connection like a Wi-Fi or a hotspot uh, you can actually get traffic information uh, just like this here as you can see but it come with uh, all the different map information so you can see all the detail you can actually zoom in and get your detail uh, when you're driving and stuff you can also do navigation of course here by just searching the navigation uh, the icon are pretty small um, so you know because it's not really designed uh, for this but yeah you can enter information here as you can see and you can see here you have Bluetooth you can actually have uh, and, you know your phone connected here so you can answer phone call on here the speaker on here is pretty loud and the microphone is pretty decent there's also FM transmitter and this is used for transmitting uh, you know the sound from the unit out into your uh, car so if you use an FM station down here you can actually use this to transmit the signal to which is pretty good uh, application I'm gonna go ahead and show you that right now we're gonna go ahead to application this is your typical Android application so here you can install basically any Android app that run on KitKat uh, I try Google Map and uh, with Google Map it works fine but it's actually a little bit laggy uh, so when you're using a map it's pretty laggy so this Cintiq application here is actually much better for navigation of course you can also view video here uh, all the dash cam footage is being recorded so we can just pick any of them for example and uh, display and it will use the internal player here As you can see here, the quality is really good. This screen is actually pretty good and it's pretty responsive, which I really like about it. And if you don't want this screen to distract you and you can't see the real mirror, all you have to do is just press this button here and uh, that put it into standby mode, just like that. And you can see your real mirror, just like that, as you can see. I'll go ahead and press it again. Uh, you can actually also tap on the screen and it will wake up just like that, back to where you were. So that's pretty much it, guy. Um, I mean, I can show you some more information, but this is pretty much an Android KitKat. It runs pretty well. I have my Wi-Fi connected here when I'm at home. So you just have to set it on ACC uh, and let it download the map. It doesn't use that much power while it's on ACC mode. Uh, you're not doing anything to it. So I leave it usually at lunch. Uh, when I come home for lunch, I leave it to download some of the map and then I'm good to go. So this is the real camera I'm using. Um, I run the cable inside. For the cable, I just have to tap into the reverse connection. The user menu explains all that and you tap into the reverse connection and uh, that'll give you access to this uh, camera so whenever I put it in reverse I can actually see the footage uh, uh, from this camera which I'll show you it also have guided line which is pretty good and it works pretty well uh, so yeah I just have to make the adjustment here you can actually have adjustment here 
and instead of screwing this guy in I'm just using acrylic tape uh, which works really well to uh, keep this guy in here and no problem at all so the double side acrylic tape works really good and if I ever need to remove it it won't damage my car or anything like that so guys overall the product works pretty well um, I really like the um, setup uh, the only thing I have left is I took my old mirror out and I used the old mirror my old mirror actually have home link which allow me to control the garage door right now and then I also have a auto dimming so there's two functions that I'm missing the home link which I just use my normal uh, loader clicker now uh, because I actually like this unit a lot I like to be in navigation uh, but uh, what I'm missing is the automatic dimming and uh, that's an option I really wish that this thing has so it doesn't have any automatic dimming so at night uh, you have to deal with the uh, you know people behind you but uh, my car has that forever so I'm kind of missing that features uh, it does a pretty decent job but it's not as good as the original OEM mirror other than that the installation of this thing took me about two hours it come with the proper mounting bracket and you just have to install it right in down I double check all the cable making sure everything is good I also happened to my reverse light that took some effort but uh, I wanted to do it right so I just took my time and overall it works pretty well the uh, Android KitKat is you know can be a little bit laggy from time to time but uh, for using uh, for this purpose here it's not bad you can also watch video and stuff on here if you want by the way at the bottom of the unit you have a micro SD card and this is used to record that video you can also use an expansion slot you also have another input here for the video but if you use the real camera built-in, then you won't need this guys I hope this quick review kind of give you a, an idea of this product I hope we're helping you in your purchase decision and if you have any questions just let me know in the comment below and as always stay tuned for future review thank you